Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. For our number talk today, we are looking at the fraction 17 24ths and trying to decide if it's closer to 0, 1 half, or 1. So when we are comparing and ordering fractions, we know that the easiest way to do that is going to be making every denominator the same, because then you can just compare numerators super easy. So how do we make all of these denominators, the 0, the 1 half, the 1, all of those quantities equal to 20 fourths? Well, let's start with the easiest one. You can just turn any fraction into 0 if you just make the numerator 0. So 0 over 24 is just equal to 0. Any fraction with a 0 as the numerator is equal to 0. And then 1 is also pretty easy, because you just need to match the numerator and the denominator. Any fraction that has the same numerator and denominator, 24 twenty fourths, 8 eighths, 3 thirds, 2 halves, 4 fourths, doesn't matter. They're all equal to 1. One whole is when you have the same numerator and denominator. The halfway point here can sometimes be tricky, but look, we have an even number here. So what's half of 24? Well, most of us know that, 2 times 12. So now I've got my 24ths. I've got 0 24ths, 12 24ths halfway through. I've got my 24 24ths over on the side. So now I can just look at my numerator, 17, and that's definitely going to land somewhere between the 1 half and the 1. So it's not going to be close to 0, but I'm trying to figure out maybe it lands right there. I'm just kind of guesstimating. So it might be closest to 1, but that's awfully close. So in order for us to get a little bit more precise, this is what we need to do. Think about a picture here. If I've got a rectangle. I cut it in half. That's like my number line here. I've cut it in half. I want to cut each half in half to get more precise. Right? So I ended up making fourths. So let's cut each half in half. When you cut the half in half, you get a fourth. So that's one-fourths. Two-fourths is equal to one-half. I'm going to guess halfway in between is three-fourths. And then obviously my one whole is four-fourths. Remember, same numerator denominator. So if I place my 17 24ths correctly, I'm thinking it's going to be on you know, the left side of my three-fourths. But how do we know for sure? Well, we need this denominator. We need to change our three-fourths into 24ths. So since those are going to be multiples. We can do it like this. Here's an algorithm. You can say 3 fourths times something that's going to equal my new target denominator of 20 fourths. So 4 times what makes 24? Well, we should know that's a 6. So if your denominator is multiplied by 6, you need to multiply the numerator by 6 because remember 6 over 6 is equal to 1. So you're just multiplying 3 fourths by 1, which means you're multiplying it just by nothing and it's going to end up staying the same right? Anything times 1 is itself. You're just making it look different. That's all an equivalent fraction is. You're just making it look different because you're changing the number of pieces it's cut into. So this 3 fourths is really 18. 20 fourths, that's one way to reimagine that. And so that 17 is going to fall a little bit below that's, that 18, so I did place it correctly. If we had this 3 fourths or above, right, it was going to kind of round up to that 1, but below that 3 fourths is going to end up rounding down. So that 17 24 is just a hair below, which means it's closest to one half.